Hey guys, how are you going? Today I am bringing you a Sanji deck profile, and this is a budget deck. So as you can see, we only have six SRs in the list, and I'll quickly go over a couple things to make this more budget, or if you've got a couple more SRs, some other things you can do with the deck. But this is one of the more budget sides of things, so we only have six SRs in the deck, which are our four Namis and our two Lords. Now before I go over the deck, let's just make sure everyone knows what the leader does. So when you play a character without an effect from your hand, if you have three or less characters in play, set up to two of your Don to active. So you've got a little bit of untapped, so you can go pretty wide. So we definitely want to play a lot of skillless cards, which makes this a really good budget deck. Now one thing that Sanji is quite weak for a lot of times is it loses its hand size. So that's why I have included Film Nami in here. If you don't have film Namis, that's okay. You can just run more skillless cards. I still think that the film package is really good without film Nami, just because we're able to play a Luffy, to play, play a Brook, to play a Usopp, and then you get to untap two. Um, so you're definitely, it's definitely still a really good engine to run, even if you don't have the film Nami. But I do think film Nami is a very good card if you do have it. The only other SR we have in here is Law, and the reason we have Law is it can re-stand one of your Usopp's. So Usopp is going to be one of the key points of the deck. So we do really want to see Usopp's in our hand, but with Law, you can play a Law for five, pick up Usopp that you've attacked with, play Usopp back down, and untap two Don. So you get a Law blocker for just three Don, which is a 6k uh, blocker for three Don, which is very valuable, and Usopp will be back in active. Now, another couple key points of the deck, and I'm going to go over the film cards. We do have Law, which can help us get a Nami out even sooner. So turn two, you can play Law, and then turn three, or sorry, two Don, you can play Law, and then four Don, you can play like a Zoro, you can play legitimately one of the, whatever you want, you play Zoro, you can play Usopp, uh, you can play a Brook to play an Usopp, and that will untap you two Don, and then you can use Lord's Effect to pick up Law, play Nami, and then use Nami's Effect. So Law's a very good card um, to run. Now, let's go over quickly the event cards. So we've got a mixture of event cards, and all here for different reasons. So first of all, we've got three Sword Style Onigiri, really good, plus 6k, so it gets you through big swings, uh, which is really nice, but then you get a play at something that costs a three from your hand. So you play Usopp. If you don't have many things on hand, uh, sorry, you don't have many things in the field, Sanji will be able to untap you two Don, so you can still pump kids in Old Paradise Waterfall. Now, a couple things to note. I don't have any of any star deck cards in here. At least I don't think I have. Uh, so we don't have any cards like a Love Love Beam, for example, which is really good. If you do have access to the star decks, I would definitely recommend running Love Love Beam over Deathwing. Deathwing's pretty much just a uh, poor man's level of beam even though it's got an amazing trigger if you do also have starter decks you can uh, run stuff like pacifista if you want or you can go in for like a little centimario engine uh, which is really really good in this deck because playing stuff from out of the deck is super strong so you can centimario uh, alongside running the kumas so you can block and then play pacifista and untap two or you can just run more blocker pacifistas to play off centimario so you've definitely got a lot of options if you have blue starter decks uh, if you have some green starter decks, we'll swap over to green side. The main card I would implore you to add is this 7 drop kit. It's just such an efficient card, and because you're able to play other cards with champion, you're kind of spamming the ball. When you get to 7 Don, you'll most likely have the Don just to play this card, and then you play like a Usopp, get nothing, something else on the field, and just untap do Don, so you're always going to have that Don open. The other card, if you have event packs, is I really urge you to run this Bartholomeo, uh, really good with our 7 drop Luffy to re-stand it, because it is a blocker, which works really well. We do have Paradise Waterfall in there to do that for now, but Barto is also really good at doing it. So you have options for cards to add in. The other thing is, if you're thinking that you want more 3Ks, you do have cards like Shinobu. If you want more 4Ks, you can go over to blue. We can run the 4, we can run the Craig or the Gekamori. It's really up to you. But this is what I would call one of the more budgeter sides of it. As I said, you can always cut the laws. If you don't have the laws, you can cut the armies. If you don't have the armies, the other card I would definitely encourage you to add is an 8-drop kid or two. If you have them, you could always activate main to play a 3-cost uh, less skill list. So mainly playing Usopp. As I said, Usopp is a very valuable card in the deck. Uh, and once it's kind of there, you're pretty stabilized. 
if you do run this eight cost kit, definitely encourage you to run more of the killers and a couple more like lore blockers and stuff like that. Just having more blockers is definitely valuable. Last card I'll talk about before we get into the profile is uh, sorry before we get into the gameplay is our killer blocker. So the killer blocker, uh, if you've got three or more characters, you draw one. What's really good about him is because you're untapping Don, you generally will have enough Don to play killer and attach the. Uh, Attach the last Don to be our draw card when you block. Most decks don't have the Don to do that. Hey guys, and we are playing against Kaido, which is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. I'm going to keep this hand so I can show you some of that. Uh, some of those plays I was talking about before. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to play the Law, and we're just going to pass turn. Remember, Law can pick yourself up to play the Nami and use the Nami effect, which is really strong. Oh, we're coming into a Jack, which will be a bit nasty. Uh, remember, we are multicolor decks, so we only have four life, but I definitely think I want to take a couple of these early ones because we do have a lot of cards in hand that we want to keep. And there we go. We got another 2k, which is really nice. Having Deathwing definitely isn't bad either. So we have a couple options here, and I kind of like swinging. So we can swing 5k with Law, play Nami, do Nami search, and get another 5k. That's pretty good. Or we can start to go a bit wider, play an Usopp. Untap two of those Don from Usopp. No, I think I want to attack. We can play a couple more things a bit later in the game. We're just going to attack 5k into life. We want to pressure this guy down. We're going to choose the Nami play and we're going to use Nami's card action. We're going to grab on Gear because that's the only card we could grab. We're going to attack 5k and next turn we're going to be on a lot of Don. We're we'll on six Don, so we can definitely do a couple more things next turn. For example, we can play a Frankie. Ah, we got the Onigashima. We probably got the Onigashima before we did. We can play Frankie. We can and leave enough Don open for a three sword style Onigiri, which definitely doesn't seem bad. Ideally, we'll draw a Zoro so we can do the same thing, but also use Nami's effect. But we will see what happens. So Kaido players definitely digging for some cards. Gets a Hell's Judgment, which is a very strong card. They are tapped out, so getting like two 7k swings or something would be quite nice. We do have to discard a card. I am just going to trash the Deathwing because I don't think we're getting to that at any point in this game. Now, attacking to this Jack is going to be very valuable. Uh, I think with Law's done its job, so we'll get rid of the Law. Now, we do want to stay on really hard life. And as I said, we draw the Zoro. It's so nice. All right, I'm going to take 5k into this Jack. We don't want him to be able to keep doing this, and we'll use the action. We're definitely going to grab the Brook. Brook's one of the better cards in the deck. Allows us to go a little bit wider. And I'm thinking whether to go Brook and Usopp. Um, so we'll be able to untap two with whatever we play, which means we can leave Onigiri open. So I think we'll just play Zoro and then leave Don open to Onigiri and play Usopp. It's probably the smartest decision uh, I can come up with. So we're just going to attach the one Don here. Oh, that is not what I was meant to do. That wasn't very smart of me. That's okay. We're going to clear the jack. We want him gone. Uh, and then what we're going to do is be very sad at ourselves for playing the wrong cards. But that's fine. Look, let's say we play the Brook to play the Usopp, untapping, and then we end turn. So we kind of want one of our things to die so we can like loof into Zoro next turn. Actually, we can just loof into Zoro next turn anyway. We're just swinging. Like, we're playing against Kaido. We really just want to be swinging. They do have that Hell's Judgment in hand, as we saw. So, honestly, ooh, I think this is like the only swing we're going to see into it. And I think I'm happy to get rid of Frankie here. Like, Frankie's a really good card. It's actually really hard for them to kill 5k. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to protect Nami. I think that was really good. And Nami can get, grab us another Frankie if we need, uh, which is quite valuable. As I said, you do lose your board pretty quickly. Uh, I mean, your hand size, sorry, pretty quickly in this deck. See the queen come down. Queen's a very strong card. It means we kind of have to swing six on each of our swings. Remember, still on three life. Definitely want to push them down a little bit. They've got two open dawn, so I'm pretty sure we'll see a Hell's Judgment on our first swing. But we're just going to make sure we're making the most of it. We have eight dawn, so that's probably just going to be Luffy plus Zoro. Uh, sorry, Luffy and then Nami, because we untap. Oh no, we're not going to get. Oh no, we don't need the untap. It's okay. We don't need that untap. Oh, we do have a Draco Mihawk, which is a lot of pressure. But I kind of like just playing Luffy, Luffy in the end. Tap them. Mm, we'll attack 5k, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to use the card action, and we're going to grab. Do we want Brook? Yeah, Brooks. As I said, Brook's one of the better cards in the deck. So we'll grab the Brook. 
put the rest away and we'll see what happens on this 5k swing Ooh, so we could start swinging the queen but i think we take enough 5k tax this is fine like i'm very much expecting this attack to be blocked by 1k the next one to be held judgment and it is what it is it's a bit unfortunate but it's okay oh no we're going to hell's judgment now and naming that which is fine we're just going to have to attack 5k into face that'll get rid of ideally another card or they'll take it that is fine we're just going to deploy this to we deploy the zoro and then we're going to enter so we do have a pretty wide board for them to deal with and like this next turn there's no real reason for us to be attaching a lot of uh, sorry, playing a lot of cards. And like, this Nami, do we want to protect the Nami? Look, they haven't showed me anything that to be scared of, so I am just going to protect the Nami. It just prolongs the game a little bit, but at the end of the day, it probably doesn't actually do much. But right now, it's just an extra swing. And that's that's quite valuable. An extra swing is an extra card out of the hand. I'm planning to do a lot of 7k swings this next turn. Um, actually really afraid of them dropping 10 drop card. Okay, we do see a blocker come down, that's fine. Um, makes perfect sense to see a blocker come down in all honesty uh, that that is fine you can attack 2k into 5 I don't mind whatsoever Yeah, so I think this next you can still attack 2k into 5 that is fine um, I think this next couple of turns he's probably playing 10 drop kaido so he probably wants he's probably trying to bait us to swing into these handballs I'm going to be swinging 7 into all Pretty much all my swings because what uh we can go yes we can go seven and everything and then have one 8k swing i believe which is pretty valuable there's another usopp as i said usopp's a very good card in the deck and as i said as well i'm expecting just a 10 drop card to come down so i'm just going to swing we're going to attach two don i'm just going to swing seven every time um at face and he's probably not going to protect his queen like he's probably going to block a couple th swings Fuck, he's got so much so much don open hey we may see a hell judgment or two come down uh so we're going to see what happens we get the block that's fine um actually this works out pretty well because we can swing seven at lead and then use card effect and then we get whew, another seven drop for next turn it's really nice so if like if my board gets wiped i can play another seven drop which i'm which i'm happy with definitely happy with that outcome Cool. Thunder Bargoa comes down. That's fine. We're okay with this. Um, I think I'm just going to attach. No, we're just going to keep swinging with the little guys. We don't too mind too much what happens. Um, definitely actually want to swing Zoro next. Because if he holds judgment, you kind of want him to lose more value. Yeah. Thunder Bargoa again. He's losing cards in hand though, which is what's valuable for us. Uh, so we're going to attack with Zoro here. Going to attack seven. It's probably going to Hell's Judgment something. Uh, probably Zoro plus one of these two. Uh, but I can just always... Oh, a third, no, it's just a third Thunder Bug. Oh, gosh. That's super scary. Uh, we're going to attack another seven. As I said, he probably doesn't have too many good cards left in hand. Uh, we could see a block plus two. We could see him take it. He's only got three cards. Block plus two. That's fine. Um, as I said, I don't really want to be baited into attacking his board. Pretty sure it's just going to... Get, we're just going to get Kaido'd, uh, so we're just going to pass turn, and he has to do something about board, this board, right? He's on such low life, we have such a big board, he really has to do something about it. Uh, not even attacking to my board, so he knows he's going to clear it. We're not going to block, but we will get rid of... Man, if this was a 5 drop, I could play it, I could do so much next turn. But I think this is the best line of action I can do. Um, actually, this plus defending with Onigiri... Is really valuable so let's just get rid of let's just count a chopper right 6k is going to swing in life count with another chopper yep no block count with another chopper and then at my board score which as I said I'm fine with yep there goes the board he did have to lose a bunch of don to do that we get a chopper that's really good so I'm just going to put him on as low as I can right so it's going to cost six we're going to untap two so we need and three don for that so six that's going to cost four uh so four so we can attach three to lead that's a pretty awkward number that's right that's sorry we'll swing eight it's going to get at least two cards out of hand which we're happy with so he's taking it cool 
let's oh he's thinking about trigger i don't know what trigger it could be that he's actually thinking about he could have just not clicked the button that's perfectly fine as well uh cool we're gonna play this we're gonna untap and then we're gonna enter it so this means because we can onigiri defensively we can stay on high life on at least one of the swings it's probably i don't know which swing i'm gonna do it for yet but we get another body on the board and we can try go for game this next turn So just kind of to recap the game, we went second, Kaido wants to go first, uh, Kaido found Onigiri, uh, sorry, not Onigiri, um, I'm playing Onigiri, playing on, found Onigashima, also found his 10 drop Kaido, and a queen, it's definitely doing a good job, we've seen the Brachio Bomber come down, it's kind of tapping out a little bit, uh, but definitely a good card, something I didn't think of, uh, look, I'm happy to take one, so what we're going to do is not going to block, but we will get out of this, oh, I clicked choose no targets, Oh no, the misclicks for days. Oh, that's such a shame. We're really going to regret that. However, he's got no blockers. He's only got two don't open. Uh, I'm not... Oh, he can totally kill me next turn though. If he can survive this... Okay. So, let me... Oh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let me walk you through what I'm thinking. So, in his hand, he's got four cards. If that's... Two blast breaths. That's plus eight k. That's thirteen, and then a two k and a one k. Nah, he he doesn't have it. We can go for game here. But if we didn't go for game, if we didn't go for game. He would be able to swing twelve k with his leader, or something like that. Twelve k is probably the best number. Or thirteen k to swing with his leader. Minus seven to burn one, and then swing a bone for that because I don't have a blocker. I could just play this and I'll be safe, and I definitely wouldn't lose. But we like going for the flashy pace. 15k, he needs two blast breaths, a sun bargua. He does not have it. Oh. He needed two blast breaths, a 2k, and a 1k, and he was pretty close. 